Too long ago, I was working in a temporary waste storage facility for decommissioned reactors. The forklift driver had a sudden heart attack. One accident led to another. You got a death wish? Forget the rest and get out ASAP! The drums weren't filled with much. Contaminated dirt. Worn out components. Protective suits. As far as radioactive waste goes, it was low risk. Low enough for no immediate harm, far as experts were concerned. In light of that, there is no certainty it was the cause. The cancer could have come from just about anywhere. Hold up. What were you doing in a friggin' reactor? This is nuts. This is how I chose to make amends. Leaving my old life behind meant living in the shadows for good. Every time I stepped into the light, the people I loved got hurt. It had to stop. Trouble is, there's not a lot you can do in the dark. Not a lot of good, anyway. So, this was your answer to all that? Yeah. This was something I chose. Hardest part was convincing that I doji to let me do it. Ugh. And this is much bigger than me. Right now, that reactor's full of people willing to step up and do the work that needs to be done. All I wanted was to play a part however I could. Otherwise, I probably would have wasted away into nothing by now. That's about the smartest thing I could think of. You know, being educated on the streets and all. Are you sure there's not some mistake? All you've got is half a year? Yeah. The last thing I wanted was to make a big deal out of it. But then I figured it wouldn't be right if I kept this from you guys. I don't know. You seem like you're in good shape to me. <laughs> well, I can still haul ass when need be. <clears throat> that said, I need to pick my battles wisely. For my health. Uh, so, is that why back at Akane's, you weren't exactly spoiling for a fight with Yamai? Yeah. <laughs> Though... I am a bit hurt. <laughs> you really think I'd pick a random fight that easy? This shit's unreal. Kiryu-san. Of all people. Man! You don't have time to be out here wrecking yourself like this! What you need right now is a doctor! Believe me, I've gone. Apparently the cancer spread. Metastasized, they called it. Nothing any surgery can fix. They gave me some pills to ease things, but that's it. Still, if you're sick, then you need to be getting your rest. You said it's the Daidoji faction calling the shots here? Well, I've got some words for them. Kasuga. No, I'll make this right! Kasuga. It's not like that. My being here and everything, that was my decision from the start. 
If it helps, I'm not just following orders. And don't feel like you dragged me into this either. But then, why? I just don't think retirement's in the cards for me. Sure, maybe I could stop and settle down. But I'd rather put what time I've got left to work. Work? Doing what? Running around on the government's leash? Instead of that, how about you stop running away from reality? <sighs> Think I'm gonna hit the shower. <laughs> when I'm out, we'll rock, paper, scissors. See who gets the floor. Is he for real? Hey, Guska. You okay? Yeah. I know the guy's basically a superhero or whatever, but that's just crazy. I mean, he's got cancer. Once he's out of the shower, let's try to convince him to go to the hospital again. There's a pretty big one here in town. No, it's useless. No one would be enough to stop him now. Huh? Kiryu-san, he had the same look in his eyes as Arakawa-san. See you tomorrow, Ichi. I see now. They're the same. He had already made up his mind, too. What, 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 what do you mean? Who did? Uh, actually, it's kind of hard to explain. Anyhow, if that's how Kiryu-san wants it, then there's only one thing we can do. We get this taken care of, quick as possible, then get him to a hospital. Sound good? What? Man, I just don't get you guys. Think about it. If you up and die, it's all over. <sighs> All right, let's get moving. What? Are you still upset? No, I'm not upset. Still, it did catch me off guard. I just didn't want you guys to worry. Sorry. Guess I only made you more concerned. I mean, how could we not be? But Kiryu-san... Hmm? Seriously, thanks for telling us. If I didn't know and something happened to you, I would have never been able to forgive myself. To be honest, I'd rather drop everything and take you to the hospital straight away. That said, I know how stubborn you are. So, for my sake, do you think you can rely on us a little more? Rely on you? I'm not about to treat you like you're on your deathbed, but we're here too, you know? So, share the load. We got your back. This way, you won't push yourself too hard, and we'll stay happy. Right? Right. Hmm, I see. All right. Yeah, I'll try to do that. For what it's worth, your help means a lot. Both of you. <laughs> Just doing what we can. Yeah? Definitely. Happy to help. Right, enough chit-chat. Where to? Good question. We still have a bit of time before our meeting. There's no telling what we'll be up against. Make sure you're ready for anything. Tomizawa, is there a good place to go shopping around here? Hmm. How about the Anaconda Shopping Center? Close to District 5, and they got pretty much everything. Cool. Stock up there first.
Let's get serious. E. What's up? I see. Thanks. Yeah. Hmm. This is the garage the bartender told us about, huh? Hey, what do you want? Huh? Where'd that voice come from? Yeah, I'm over here. Huh? Whoa! Customers, what seems to be wrong with the vehicle? Oh, uh, actually, I'm here about my baseball bat. Well, there's your problem. That's not a car. Yeah, I realize that, uh, but... Wait, hold on! Revolve's bartender sent us. He said there's a one-of-a-kind mechanic here. Hmm... Ugh, why didn't you say that up front? I wasted a whole song and dance on you. Oh, so am I in the right place? If the bartender sent you, yes. We can offer a selection of non-vehicular maintenance services. Name's Julie. Michiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you. Uh, so, shall I take a look at this bat? Please. Wow! Guy your age still walks around with a skullcracker like this? That's old school. In a cringy kind of way. Thanks. You can help, then? I'm used to modding guns, swords. <laughs> a bat is child's play by comparison. <sighs> oh well. Let's get on with it. What were you thinking? Show me. What is it now? What if I tried... Ha! Huh, shut up! I'm thinking. A little more... This is even better. Good! same bat anymore I got bored halfway through fixing it up so I made some improvements better leverage here it'll be a much deadlier instrument now so satisfied yeah I'm satisfied it's so much easier to handle I feel stronger somehow just from holding it you're a miracle worker no wonder the barkeep said you're the best he knows well 
That was nothing special. Certainly nothing he couldn't do. Huh? What'd you say? Nothing. You heard nothing. Hey, Missy. I'm helping someone else right now, but the exit door is free to assist you. Don't test me, honey. I'm not going anywhere till I get some service. As I've already told you, we only work on vehicles here. Come back when you need an oil change. Enough bullshit. Everybody knows this is a weapon shop. Quit screwing with me. Even if this were the place you think it is, I reserve the right to refuse service to whomever I so choose. Leave. Fuck. Is this how you want to play it? <gasps> now give me some goddamn service, girl. Hey, you need to calm down. Hell, who are you? Just a customer. She's replacing my alternator. Settle down and I'm sure she'll be with you soon, yeah? You fucking tourist. <laughs> you got no idea where you are, do you? All right. How about I shoot you? Then I won't be cutting the line. Well, damn. That does sound reasonable. Let's try it. <laughs> You're a dead man. Someone's got a dead wish. Bring it on. Yeah. Here we go. Looks like I'm up. Here I come. Armed and ready. That's it. Let's go. Cool. Allow me. <laughs> you're you're so strong. This shop's off limits to you from now on. Got it? <laughs> Got it. Sorry, you won't see me again. You okay? <sighs> Happens sometimes. Word gets around. The kind of men who look for trouble are good at finding it. Still, I can usually turn them away without much difficulty. Appreciate you taking the bullet from me, though. So to speak. Oh, yeah, sure. I guess with skills like yours, a lot of guys would be interested in coming here. Mm-hmm. But my rule is only people the bartender gives the okay to. Huh. You and the bartender go back long? No, not very long, but... Well, a lot's happened. I'm renting the space from him, actually. He's technically in charge. Is that right? He owns more than Revolve Bar, then, huh? Anyway, if it isn't clear, I'd like to keep our weapons work under wraps. I expect your discretion. Well, I suppose if the bartender trusts you, I should too. <laughs> we good, old man? Yeah, of course. All right if I come around again? Sure, you were useful today. I'll help you out. Only thing is, next time I'll have to charge, and you'll need to supply your own materials. If that's fine by you, come again anytime. Oh, one more thing. Over in the Anaconda Center, there's a colleague of mine. I'll let them know you're allowed there too. Got it. Thanks a lot. Looking forward to seeing you again, Julie Chan. Julie Chan? Ooh, sorry, of course you have it. Does that sound strange? No, no, I get it. It's a Japanese thing. I've just never heard that applied to me. I'm kind of flattered, honestly. Yeah, well, just let me know if it's weird. No, don't worry. It's fine. Cool. Julie Chan it is, then. <laughs> You're a funny guy. I'm surprised. Hmm. Welcome! What is it now?
Yo, Kasuga, aloha. Don't aloha me. What are you doing here? Didn't I tell you? Hawaii hosts a notorious Sujiman tournament. It's a professional obligation that I attend. Make no mistake, that's the only reason I'm here. This is no vacation, my boy. This is entirely in the interest of Suji science. So, what's the tournament like? In cases such as these, seeing might prove necessary to believing. Follow me. Okay. Ah, hello there. How can I help you? Who's that Sujiman? Understood. Please take the elevator. Underground Coliseum, the Sujiman Stadium. I can hardly believe it. Home of the Sujimi, where rival Sujiman trainers come to compete. The guests put money down on who'll win. Really, it's not all that dissimilar from underground gambling in Japan. Honolulu has strict gambling laws. It's ironic. Those restrictions only drive certain kinds to create such remarkable facilities as this. Hawaii has more to it than meets the eye, huh? Of course. The matches are broadcast worldwide on the dark web. The wealthy can watch and gamble at their leisure. Look! There's a match going on right now. What a fight! The challenger Masato is struggling against the mighty Discreet Force Jack! He's down to his last mon! Oh no! Come on, hang in there, buddy! <sighs> <laughs> Is that really it? Finish it. Kill him if you want. <laughs> no, buddy! That all you got? Give up yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> I quit. It's over! Like the rest of the foursome, Jack's team of Sujimon remains untouchable! <sighs> this really is the Suji League. Jeez. Battles are fought with teams of three non, led by their Sujimon trainer. Victory goes to the trainer whose Sujimon defeat their opponents. A three-on-three -three Sujiman clash is considered the classic Sujiman battle. Hence, the Suji League uses these to determine their greatest trainer. Trainers, of course, are the brave adventurers who catch Sujiman, develop their skills, and create a cohesive team. Finally, the trainer commands them in battle and leads them to victory. That one we saw, Jack is among the League's highest-ranked trainers and a member of the fearsome Discreet Four. And sitting atop that hedonistic foursome, the ultimate Sujimon master, King. King, huh? Look at him. Oh, no time for that now. The match is starting. Good luck. Thanks. Wait, huh? Good luck doing what? Now we present a rookie match. In the silver corner, a man so saddled with debt, he's resorted to Sujimon battles to stay afloat. Koichi Idano! And his opponent in the gold corner, the former Yakuza Kumtourist, 
who never stays down, Ichibon Kasuga! Uh, me? What the hell's going on, Sensei? I'll admit I've always been the type to beg forgiveness then ask permission. I'll explain later. You just need to win! Wait, win? But this is a Sujimon battle, right? Sensei, I haven't got any Sujimon! Worry not, my boy. I've called him some old friends. Here they come now. Hello, Sensei. Oh, hello to you, chum. Hi there. Name's Yasuo Sodachi, at your service. And from the Sodachi Dojo, me, his student Karaki. And I'm his most positive and energetic student, Yokawa. Who the hell are these guys? Yasuo Sodachi-san and his students. Sodachi-san was my closest confidant when I was champion, and a Sujiman in his own right. Back in those days, I ran a gym, but it sort of... went bust. Thankfully, the Sujiman sensei came to my rescue. And now that he's offered to cut me in the track, I'm here to help him out once more. The Sodachi-san was a master of his dojo. He excelled at training and strategy. A beginner could ask for no better ally. So, you're Ichiban's Kasuga. Nice to meet you. Ichiban Kasuga. Oh, shit. Must have been a bad connection. Anyway, have no fear. Even a Suji League novice is in good hands with me. <clears throat> I hate to interrupt, but Kasuga team, everyone's waiting. Your opponents don't look so tough. Just give Sodachi Sun and his boy some guidance and trust them. You can win. Seriously? Jeez. You better not give me any crap if I lose. And without further ado, this Sujimon League rookie match is on! Let's give it everything we got! Doretta! Time for a Sujimon battle! It's on! Who's ready to see some jacked up weirdos beat the Suji snot out of each other? Concentration on these three faces! The next move could be fatal, 
For the attacker, the defender, hell, for the audience! Which trainer will achieve victory? Which Sujimon will be sent to the glue farm? What are these Suji thinking? Here Actually, comes the Suji! Never ah. Oh, baby! What's that Sujimon got in their bag of tricks? Back to the drawing board, huh? Uh, break your picture! did we do that? <laughs> well done, my boy. I knew you had what it takes. Knew it in my bones. Hmm. Couldn't be. Wait, that guy, that's Professor Morikasa, isn't it? Uh, oh shit, it's really him, the former champion. I thought the Suji League expelled him, didn't they? But he's back now, or isn't he? How intriguing! The Sujimon League's prodigal champion, Morikasa, has returned! Bugger all. Time to go, Kasuga. Uh, okay, okay. Morikasa-san. <sighs> that got out of hand, Kasuga. I'm sorry. No shit! What the hell was all that? I need some details here, Sensei. Right, I owe you that. The truth is, I'm the former Suji League champion. Oh, it was a different time. The gambling wasn't so rampant. Back then, the League was a true test of skill. That was the Suji League that I loved. I was proud to be its champion. But since the Suji League Committee was established, gambling's devoured the soul of the competition. The Suji League Committee? Uh, did you see those folks in the weird pervert masks? That's them. They run the bets and skim off the top of every battle. Gradually, they started fixing matches to accommodate their wealthiest clients. As soon as I heard, I rallied against them. But they were too powerful. They exiled me from the League and claimed total authority. I can't believe all this. Truthfully, my plan from the start has been to restore the League. Make it the place of honor and glory it was before. I loved it once, my Suji League. I can't stand seeing it corrupted like this. So then, what's the plan? There's only one option. Be the very best. Become Suji League Master and win the championship! The champion's influence can be immense. If one wins the favor of the crowd, they could oust the committee itself. 
But you said they exiled you before. That's why I need to battle in your place? That's right! Please, Kasuka, will you do this for me? Why does it have to be me? What about Sadachi-san here? He's got way more experience than me. Sodachi-san's not a bad trainer, but he's never been popular with the fans. I mean, doesn't he just have that dull-witted creator-wrestler look about him? Is that really how people see me? Kasuga, though, you have a knack for Sujiman and charisma to boot. Putting together a team is what you excel at. I don't know. The committee possesses terrifying wealth, you know. They've ruined the lives of countless poor Sujimon, all swallowed up by the system. And I am the Sujimon Sensei. As I told you before, I seek world peace. Not only for normal folk, however, for my Sujimon brethren as well. I want to break the cycle of mistreatment and exploitation of my kind. I'm asking a lot, I know, but you're the only one who can help. Hmm. All right. When you put it like that, I can't just walk away. Kasuga, you're really in? Uh, frankly, I don't understand all the details here, but I know you're not a bad person, Sensei. If you say this matters to you, I'll help. Kasuga, words fail me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, come on, old man. It's all right. <laughs> but I'm just so happy. <laughs> I always cry when someone else cries. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, for the most part, I get how the Suji League works. But I'll still need more Sujimon, right? Hmm. You'll want three starters and three for the bench. That's at least six in total. So, Dachi san and his pupils are three, so I've got to double my stock, basically. How am I supposed to do that? <laughs> That's easy. Just smack them around until they give in. Kick them, punch them. Violence takes care of everything. What? It really has to be that rough? Well, his explanation is somewhat crude, but not entirely wrong. Sujiman classically obey those who assert dominance. This will be easier to learn by doing. Oh, it seems there's a raid happening nearby. A raid? It's a gathering spot for strong Sujimon, where they battle one another to establish a native pecking order. Kasuka, go over there and flex. D why Look, raid dwellers respect strength. They naturally defer to the most gallant among them. If you don't want to flex, find some other way to display your vim and vigor, and then win their hearts. Just... Start by introducing yourself, all right? Oh, and take some of these. What are these? Suji gifts. I model them after traditional year-end presents. Didn't your parents give you any as a child? Wait. Right. I'm sorry. Anyway, get to it, Sujimon Master Kasuga. I'll give it a shot. You'll regret this. Let's do it! Allow me. You're in it now! Alright! Time to put you down! Alright! I'm 
too back. much. What the hell? Go. Token of friendship. How about it? No way! How'd I go with my gut here? <laughs> okay, you're on. Something like that. <laughs> well done, Kasuga. That's the way. From now on, if a Sujiman hangs around after defeat, try recruiting them to your team. Just remember that not all Sujiman will join you. Consult this list here to see who's eligible. Take a look at it now. I think I get it. But don't I also have to help them get stronger? A simple way to improve your Sujimon is to shove some Suji munch down their gullets. However, it's better to raise them up in battle. If you spot rival trainers in the city, try taking them on. As you defeat other trainers, your ranking in the league will increase. At a high enough rank, you can even challenge the fearsome discreet four. The current champion, King, sits at the very top of that peak. You'll have to dispatch the rest first. It's gonna take long, you think? Nah, with me by your side, it'll be a cakewalk. Let's go grind, knock out the four, and then we'll all take a trip to Suji Land. <laughs> there, there's not really a Suji Land, right, sudachi san One more thing. Let me install the Suji League app on your phone. You should find it quite useful. All right. I guess I'll give it a shot. Thank you, Kasuga. This is it. You must travel across the land, searching far and wide. Catch Sujimon, become a man. I'll wait here inside. Uh, are those lyrics? It, it's uh, something I've been working on. Forget it. Go catch those mons, Kasuga. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I don't feel great. 